Hi there guys, how's it going? Uh, had a different video planned for today. It uh, didn't work out. It was going to be one that took a few days to make anyway, but uh, yeah, more on that when I redo it. <laughs> so, if I'd relax, just come out, make some breakfast. It's been a bit of a busy week. We can talk about that more later. Um, but I've got something to try out. Uh, I've used it once before, but uh, I thought I'd bring it down. Come down to the stream here, which I don't really come down to too often for a video. You can still smell the wild garlic down here, even though most of it's gone now. Still got that scent in the air. <laughs> right, I need to process a little bit of wood before we carry on. There's a stump out in this clearing here, so I can use this just to uh, process a little bit of wood. Some oak just behind me here, edge of the uh, clearing, so I'll probably just take some of that. Quite a lot of dead fall as well around here so I can get these twigs. Get some kindling. Getting a lot of showers but they seem pretty quick, not too heavy. So hoping it stays that way. It is hot though. So this is what I'm going to be using today. It's the Robin's Big Horn. It's a three-legged griddle or pan, whatever you want to call it. Cast iron. I'll cover it over on the review channel, but uh, I've actually got two of these. So that allows you to bring a fire up off the ground and have a cooking surface. This one is the one I use for fire. You can probably see from some of the marks on it. Um, but yeah, they've both been seasoned and everything as well. So that means I'll have nothing to tidy up down by the river here once I'm done. Some of this was a bit punkier than it looked on the outside. Never mind. Where you've got bracken, you've got dry old bracken. It's great for uh, lighting a fire. Well, 
Well, this is my Tinder bundle. The uh, bracken's a little bit damp. Some char cloth and flint. We'll see how this goes. First time for an ember. A few bits of uh, birch bark in here as well. Oh, that was quite quick. Yeah, definitely damp. We appear to be there though. It's a nice spot down here. It started raining while I was lighting the fire, but it seems to have stopped again now. Fire should keep away the bugs as well. Right, so that's my second griddle plate. And that's going to be stacked on top of this one when the uh, I've got some coals. Now this isn't exactly going to be a vegetable feast, but I have got a tomato, which I'm just going to slice in half. And I've got this mushroom, which I'm just going to put into a few slices, just to make it easier. There we go. And the rest is meat, basically. Just using the open all, which I use as the kitchen knife. This one is the nine, I think. I've got the smaller one as well. Eight, maybe? Six, I can't even remember now, which I use with my um, Trangia kit now. Gonna stack the pans now. Probably should put some gloves on first. Uh, gonna keep them in the same orientation. There we go. And I've done that now, just cause cast iron takes a little while to heat up there. So even with all that weight on there, we've not really got too much penetration. And this ground here is a bit softer because it's uh, by the stream here. So that's good. And uh, that's not impeding the airflow for the fire either being on there. It's time to warm up. I'm going to use a bit of oil here because it's quite a big surface area and I'm going to be moving stuff around. Right, I'm going to start off with the sausages here. Bit of a sizzle on. Well, that seems to be a nice sizzle, so I'm going to go on to some of my other bits. The portobello mushroom and the tomatoes. And I can move stuff out of the way if it's too hot in the middle with that zonal cooking.
and let's add some black pudding into the mix here, or blood pudding. Oats and uh, sort of pig's blood and other things, which to some doesn't sound appetizing, but don't knock it till you've tried it. It's lovely stuff. Nice streaky smoky bacon. There we go. You could tell from the stream that the uh, rain is back on. Oh, I do like a mushroom. I can feed this a little bit now because I know what my temperatures are like. And I just want to get that temperature up a little bit. There we go. Already starting to get there. Getting that sizzle back. Some of that may have to do with the rain. It is properly raining now been saved a little by the canopy. I think it's time to go on with the eggs now. Bacon is starting to crisp up. While them eggs are just finishing off, I'll uh, start taking things off that are done, and the mushrooms. And now what all the subscribers know is coming. And before you comment, you can have whatever sauce you want. <laughs> I think uh, black pudding goes quite nicely with some ketchup. That sweetness kind of cuts through it. I like black pudding with um, cooked apple. Oh yes, that's good. Bacon, pretty much perfect for me. Not burnt to a cinder, but crispy. Hmm. Well, I'm going to sit in the rain and eat this. Well, still a few droplets of rain coming down. Clean up on this shouldn't be too hard. Most of this, yeah, should just scrape off. I'll just wipe this with a cloth or a tissue and leave the uh, fire underneath it and that just helps with the seasoning. There we go, it's basically as good as new. As long as this rain can hold off, well it's not, as long as it's not too hard. It's just going to get nice and re-seasoned in the heat. Let it cool and pack it up.
that's the fire pit bowl and that's my nice clean cooking one I'll uh, probably still heat that and put a bit of oil on it just to help protect it from rust but yeah I'm not too fussed about it because it's the fire one well, I hope you enjoyed that guys uh, sorry it wasn't a more in-depth video um, yeah a bit of a disaster to uh, abandon the other one so I'll hopefully get a chance to redo that soon uh, I've actually had a little bit of work this last week which uh, I couldn't turn down because it's the first I've had since this whole everything begun but uh, yeah I hope you enjoyed it anyway thank you very much for watching and I'll see you on the next one goodbye